Well, the morning started out with a mixture of rain and sleet. This is a couple of days after that first big storm that we had, and none of the snow has really melted yet. It started to a little bit, but we haven't had enough sun to do much. Today is supposed to be sunny and stormy in alternating waves, and then it's supposed to be like that off and on for the next few days. With that in mind, I just had to come up here and work while it was clear and pause when it's bad. This time of year, it's not uncommon for the weather to work like this. We'll have a few days where it's really wet and muddy, and then it'll dry up a bit and be pretty okay for a day or two before the next wave of storms come in and out and turn everything back to winter and mud. Even though it complicates projects and makes completing the task list a little bit harder, the beauty and intensity of nature out here remind me how insignificant my problems are in the greater scheme of things. Sure, it may be muddy and wet and cold, but having a front row seat to watch the sky come alive as these storms roll in and out is pretty magical. Well, storm's here for the day. So I'm gonna go warm up my hands. Got these braced well enough that they're okay. Uh, I'm gonna warm up, wait for the snow to blow out and see if we get a chance this afternoon to keep going. Well, two hours and an inch of snow later, got another little break in the sky. So just go for it again. See if, how many more posts I can get up.
Well, by no means is this winter, but the next couple of days are going to be a little bit like this. And then hopefully we have a week where most of this kind of dries up. See what it does. Well, the weather yesterday left us with inch and a half or two inches. It's warmer today. There's no sun, but it's warmer. So things are probably going to be icy and melty. Just keep going. Try to get the, try to get the girts across the back on the outside. And then I'll come around the outside <clears throat> over here and try to get the girts up over there today. Use up what I can. Then I'll probably go and put my cross bracing in on my ends. Just try to do as much framing today as we can get away with. <laughs> So I'm going to cut my angle brace for these two end bays. That way I can get it supported and I can re remove that strap. I got my measurements here. It's the gap between the posts and then the height from the bottom of the pressure treated board to the bottom of the second girt, which is 96. That's what I set them at. That's where, right where it's at. So a little quick math, 110 and 3 eighths. So I'll move that heel and I'll measure into the The next step I need to do there's a bunch of ways to do this, but I'm just going to do it for my speed square and make it the quickest I can. So all I have to do to get it in factor 12 is divide it by 8. The 54 and 3 eighths divided by 8. 6.796. Real simply online calculator that change it from 12 pitch to degrees which is 29 and a half degrees. Now, because I need the inverse of that angle for this long side, this long angle side, it's 29 and a half degrees subtracted from 90, which is right at 60 and a half. So I'm going to mark that right there, two and three quarters inch from that heel. And then I can come over here, 30 and a half, cross that off. So I'm going to waste this, this here. So I'll have a nice little step 
I can nail that into the girt and into the post. And then my next brace can start here and go up this way at a different angle so that I get a, a zig and a zag inside my posts. I don't know if I explained that well, but hopefully it'll make sense when I get it in. What that's done is put the point of the brace even with the bottom and then the heel is even with the bottom of that skirt and then I have a little step ledge there for the next brace to go from here up over to that side once I get a little higher Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all And oh my love About the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. I won't 